Hello everyone, I'm Trestor44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 5. Last episode, we pretty much seemed to have found a way under the uh, blocked off passage in Venati Lands. It was filled with lots of explosions, pain, death, and even a demon. But, now we can finally go up here and see if we can continue onwards. And of course, there's a river. Why would there not be a river? Alright, let's explore, see what we can find and the like. Well, there's some things out here. Well, a camp, anyway. Why is there a camp out here, anyway? Who had this camp? You open the box and find writing materials and paper. Most of the sheets of crude papyrus are blank. One is not. It has been torn in pieces probably as a prelude to burning it before the work was interrupted. It is easy to reassemble the fragments. The destruction was far from complete before the person tearing it had to depart. It reads, I have done enough for the cause. They suspect me. I know they do. I have learned all I can. I am sure of it. And the portal is driving me mad. All the buzzing. You offered me rewards. I want them. Now, get me out of here. Sienna. It appears that you have been betrayed from the very beginning of your journey. The traitor was waiting for you at the end of every pylon. Well! Great! Sienna. Did not expect that. Well, we're going to have to deal with her whenever we find a pylon and go back. Oh, great! This is, uh... This is great. Okay. You reach the far end of the Venati lands. Their domain ends at a black river flowing roughly into the depths. There is an ancient dock with two surprisingly new boats tied to it. Alas, the owners of the boats are standing between you and them. There are several aren't people waiting. Humans. Their weapons are out. A woman in long robes stands at the front of the group. You recognize her. You met her in Exodus. It is Ruth, the wizard and loyal servant of Doricus. Before, she just wanted to talk. Now she is here with a much more serious purpose. I am pleased. You are exactly where you were supposed to be, when you were, when you were expected. I am not used to the quality of information we are getting. Doricus has sent me to deal with you at last. We had hoped that you would be turned aside by now, fallen victim to ambush, or to the scheming Avenites, or to some incidental monster. And yet you have prevailed. You must be dealt with properly. How would you know to find me here? You must be joking. After all you have seen in these miserable caves, do you think that there is no place that Doricus can't reach? Our spy has kept us informed on every stage of your journey. You would have been dead long ago if Dervish Thorman had not been so incompetent in his choice of thugs to hire. Why are you here? I am here to parley with you. Unlike the other servants of Doricus, I find you to be interesting. You are also trying your hardest to serve the same nation I serve. This should not be forgotten. You have been in the underworld for months now. You have dealt with the worms. You have seen their pettiness, their insolence, their treachery. In your time down here, what have you learned? Hmm. Well, truthfully, from what I've seen, the Dark Side Loyalists would only bring war and tyranny. I'll do all I can to destroy them. Ah, oh, I see. More fool I for thinking that you might be recruited. Curse my optimistic spirit. Any final words? Surrender. You can never defeat the might of the Empire. Defeat the Empire? Ha! <laughs> there is no need. Empress Prazak is at death's door. Soon those loyal to Doricus will push General Redmark aside and take the throne. We have no need for, to defeat the Empire. The Empire is wide open and willing to be taken. But enough of your foolishness. Your journey ends here. She begins to cast a spell. Well, we are not going to let you cast a spell, and you are going to die. Okay. 
I promise you that. Now let's counter that slow, why don't we, eh? You, I want to battle frenzy. And you, I want... Oh! Beautiful. And you, I want to weaken her. Every little bit helps. And hey, they may only be skeletons, but they're helping out a bit. Always good to have health. Alright, smack her down. Alrighty, she's taking quite a bit of damage. Beautiful. Question is how long this is gonna last. No, not that spell. I want you to cast that spell. Burn them to the ground. Alright. Ha! Ah, one of them's terrified. Beautiful. And Ruth is already at half health. Ah, she summoned a revenant. Lovely. Well, we can get rid of that relatively quickly and easily. And Sherry's already running low on energy. Ha! This is going well. And another casting. There goes that guy. Ow. That was painful. This should finish her off. Ooh, just alive. Ruth collapses. She looks up at you as a thin line of blood runs from the corner of her mouth. She is in great pain, but she also seems strangely relieved. It was, it was a hard, <coughs> a hard thing to fight the Empire, to kill my fellows. I am, I'm free. My duty is done. The hard work. I hate these caves. Did not want to end. <sighs> she closes her eyes. She is gone. <coughs> Well, all that's left are these two guys. And our warriors can't reach him now. Okay, fine. No matter. You know what? Pelt them with arrows. It's all you can really do right now. I would have preferred our warriors to go up to them, but can't right now. Sadly. Though it looks like that archer isn't very strong anyway. Just pelt them with arrows. We don't need to waste any more energy. And there we go. Alright, switch back to the melee weapons. What was dropped here? Broadsword, carrying elixir. Quicksilver sand sandals. Definite sell because they get rid of str They uh, remove strength. 
Not something I want to lose. Okay, let's see. Bars of iron. Nothing there. I wonder if we can actually go back at all or if we're stuck out here. Because it looks like we're stuck out here. I don't think we can actually go back. No, we're, we're kind of stuck. Yeah, we can't get through. And I don't think we can go back. Can we? Oh. Let me see if we can. Alright, how far back can we go? Oh, right. Okay, never mind. Okay, so the answer is we're kind of stuck here until we get to a pylon. Well, time to explore the dark river. Or at least the other shore first. Which doesn't really have much of anything. Okay. So are we going up or are we going down? Looks like up is the way we're supposed to be going. So let's take a look at what's below. You row your craft beyond the farthest reaches of civilization. Human settlements, alien settlements, they are all behind you now. The river is black and icy cold. This rickety boat capsizes, the end will be swift and your body will never be found. Ahead you hear rapids. You begin your journey down the dark river knowing that you are nearing the end. You can sense that your quarry is at last close. Rapids! Okay, so down is the direction we're supposed to go in. So then what's up, huh? What's up here? Some place we can heal, maybe? That would be nice. That doesn't look like some place we can heal. Wait, a new area has been added? Oh! Well, it's not that far to some place. But right now we have uh, hostile creatures around here. Dancing bones. Goody. Bone Master. Oh, even better. Okay, drink your potion. Let's kill these dancing bones. I have no idea what the hell is up here. Come on. Yep, no, cast it on that. I mean, we may as well kill these. I mean, we're here. Why not? Whoever this Bone Master is. Okay, that's those dead. A couple more dancing bones over here. May as well kill them. Not sure how dangerous this Bone Master is, though. Well, that was effective. Come on. Two health! It had two health! How did it survive with two health? Bloody hell. Alright, finish off this guy. Oh, quit that! And die already. There we go. Oh! The Bone Master commands more of the dead to rise. Oh! So this Bone Master does this. And we're getting a little overwhelmed now. That's not very pleasant. I would appreciate a little help, yes, thank you.
I have a feeling we should probably try to kill the Bone Master. Quickly, before we are actually murdered by it. How much health does it have? It has a lot of health! Okay, let's see what minions we can kill, at least. Maybe we'll be lucky and it'll eventually run out of bones. That would probably be nice. How is it parrying so much? Bloody hell. That's effective. Shouldn't bother with the expensive spells, in all honesty. Jeez, these things have a high parry. Almost got these. not doing terribly. I have a feeling we're going to have more of these things show up very soon. Yep, there's more of them. So I'm pretty sure what we need to do is kill that Bone Master. Otherwise, he's just going to bring in more. He takes no damage. Can he even take damage? That's what I wonder now. He cannot! So, I guess our only option right now is to, well, survive. Well, at least we have various minions that can help out. I guess we just need to keep killing these bo dancing bones. This is gonna take a while. Oh boy. We're not making much progress in this episode, are we? I mean, we kill Ruth, we discover that Sienna has been betraying us, and then we start down the dark river only to find this dead end with... yeah. Overall, not really making much progress. Yeah, leave the bats to take care of that one. Oh, okay, the Bone Master is alive now. Time to focus on trying to kill him. Did not expect him to be that deadly. Holy crap! That is very bad. Not expected at all. I 
mean, Jesus. We're gonna die here, I can tell you that now. He doesn't even take much damage from that. Yeah, we're, we're dead here. Just watch. We're gonna die. Huh. Darren actually survived that. I'm impressed. Maybe we'll survive this, but I seriously doubt it. I mean, we already lost Thomas. We might actually survive this. Without Thomas, but we can bring him back. Ow. Okay, I am shocked. I think we're actually going to do this without Thomas. It's taking all of our me all of our spell energy though. That wolf definitely helps. Wait, no, I want you to heal now that... Okay. We killed it. Good. We're almost out of energy. And one of our guys is dead. But we made it. Okay. You get over here, we need to kill you. There we go. Okay! Okay, how much does that spell ca cost? 50 energy. Hey, welcome back, Thomas. And we got Deadeye Chain. Which is good for Sharpshooter, but not much else. I think we can sell it. And I think that's just about everything over here that's worth taking, in all honesty. Yeah. Is there even anything else back here? Nope. Just, uh, just the river. Well, that's gonna have to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we'll head down the, uh, head down the rapids here, see what we can find, and make our way into the dark river here. I'm pretty sure we're just going to have to make a beeline for this place, because otherwise we are not really going to be able to, well, do much. I hope there's a pile on there. There's got to be. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, that is Darren, Thomas, Lena, and Sherry. This has been an Avernum 5 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.